Now, especially with these slips, you really got to stick your butt out to get the speed, right? If I leave my hips under, kind of like a tie stand, it's really hard to move my head with any sort of speed and efficiency. Really got to stick my butt out. Tuck it in, right? That's why you see boxers. They don't got to wear no kicks and knees. They're humping their way down like this sometimes. Maybe real quick. They stick their butt out. Hands up. One slip is just going to slip to the right. So all I do is I kick my butt out to the left. One. 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 So basically everything from the waist up, one, just falls over. One. 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 Now watch from the side. I've seen a couple of you guys be slipping. So you're coming back like this. Okay, I don't want to come back like this. And if I do that, if I slip this jab like that, what's there? What do I think? What is he going to do next? What, what do you got next? Bang! Right? I got nowhere else to go because I'm already back here. But if he throws that one, I slip in, throw that two. Whoa, now what's going to happen, right? I'm able to move after. Okay, so keep it tucked in, let's go to the right. One. 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 Don't try and dip, don't try and use your legs. My legs stay pretty much the same, my upper body stays pretty much the same. All I do is I push my hip up, okay? And my body just kind of falls over. That's the only thing that I'm doing is pushing my hip up. I'm not trying to bend my back like this. I'm not trying to move my head like this. I'm not bending my leg to dip out of the way. All I do is slip that hip out of the way. The opposite direction. One. 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 Keep your hands up. One. 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 All right. Two. This is the exact same thing. Just going the other direction. One to the left. Okay. So let's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my hip up to the right and let my body fall left. Making sure my chin is over my front knee at all times. It's an easy way to check if you're in a good stance. You should be able to look if my chin should be in line with my knee, no matter where I am. Whether I'm slipped over here, whether I'm in a neutral position, when I'm slipped over here, my chin's over that front knee, okay? So all we're gonna do is do, 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 Three. 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 Three.
trying to just use my back to kind of lean backwards. The other thing it does is it keeps me centered, keeps me balanced. Oh, oh. I can answer with a punch right away, whether it be a one or a big two. If I just try to lean back with like this, I'm falling over. I, can't, I don't have anything else. I can't come back to another slip or another defense. Based on here, I got nowhere else to run. If he throws more than one, two punches, I'm in trouble. Three. Three. 
Now this is the one a lot of people screw up because it seems so easy at first, right? They just don't move their head, and they just try to squat a punch out of the air, okay? I'm not squatting a punch out of the air, it's not a big motion. Basically, I'm moving my head as my hand just comes to the other side. Look, that's as far as it moves. I don't need to come like this, right? Just here. If it's easier to remember, go with 